Five ways to say it. 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 Hello, welcome to Five Ways to Say It. Hitomi san is on her way. And while she is coming to the classroom, let me tell you what our topic is today. So I'm going to screen share and show you how easy it is to choose a topic. Now I am going to go to EnglishWithKatie.com, which is where your wonderful resources are. Well, where your resources are anyway. I hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, morning, afternoon, lunchtime, wherever you are. We'll go here to the blog and working with five ways to say it, I want you to know that there is always more than one way to say the same thing. And that's the truth, Ruth. It's true. Here in Japan, I work with language learners who have been in a very structured system. Now, all of us have been in a very structured system, but there is something about form and correctness in this country that takes it to a whole new level. So my job is to shake up my Japanese learners and have them know that there is always more than one way to say the same thing. Now my lighting is what it is. It's my first time doing this and it's an experiment and I'm very excited about it. So here we go. And I will go to, um, we want the same outcome. I mean, you know, I have so many resources. It's just incredible. And on my blog, there is, there should be a date. There should be information here that I can click. We want the same outcome. No. Let's see, what should we do today? I'm going, I'm attending. Man, there's a, oh, I see that Hitomi is joining us. Hi, Hitomi. <laughs> Hi. I can't hear you. Hi. Oh, there I can hear you. Let me get your volume up here a little bit. There we go. How are you doing? <laughs> Great. So I am recording. We're going to do a test. So this is really fun. And I'm going to get out of this stop sharing. And here I am. Okay. Your light is very good. I need to get my light structured. I'm not sure how to get it structured. So are you having a nice morning? Yes, I have. All right, good. Now, what Hitomi has done is she's answered with a one sentence answer. And my push is answer <laughs> one plus. Oh, look at her laughing. You can tell that she already knows what she has to do now. So let's try again. Hitomi, are you having a nice morning? Yes, I have, but I don't eat. I don't have eat anything. And uh, this morning is warm. It's very comfortable. Yes, I agree. <laughs> you know, I never miss breakfast. I always eat breakfast. I usually have three eggs and um, coffee. And today I had parsley, raw parsley. And eggs. Yes. And soy sauce. Uh -huh. So, so. Why didn't you have breakfast? Uh, I have, uh, I have sleep. Uh, I, I don't, uh, I have. Um, I, I sleep very well a long time. I wake up uh, lately. Mm. Yeah, I woke up at 5.45. 5.45? Yes. I had a Skype meeting with my friends in California. Mm -hmm. They're 
two women and we do kind of a business encouragement focus meeting. So my time is 6 a.m. Their time is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 p.m. Because they have children. And so their children are in school. But, at, you know, so I'm sleeping at 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. <laughs> so it's the best time for us. So what we're going to do is... He told me and I met one time to do the three step answer plus plus. So we're going to do it again and we're going to get her speaking for 30 seconds. And yes, so I'm going to get um, my online, oh, my outline, my online timer, my OneDrive online. Just a minute, please while I get this. Well, I hope you have lunch planned soon, he told me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me see, my online timer doesn't want to work. Online, online, stopwatch, is that it? Let's see. Oh, the internet is always changing, but that's okay. Here we go. Yay. Countdown timer. All right. So what we're working with in this program is we're working with just daily conversation questions, maybe sometimes business, but for the most part, just showing you how you can work by yourself or with a coach to help you speak like a native speaker. And most native speakers are going to be speaking blah, 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 blah. So he told me he is going to be working with me on this YouTube channel. And he told me is looking to improve her English. He told me, what reason do you have for improving your English? Is it business, travel? Um, taking cooking lessons in English. Why do you want to improve your English? What, Prabhu? Yeah, why do you want to have better English? Oh, what do you want to better in English? Yeah, is it for business? Is it for travel? Is it for um, meeting people? Is it for taking cooking lessons in English? Uh, Talking, uh, speaking, uh, uh, make a friends all around um, country, around the world. Mm. Um, I have some friends, other countries, but they can speak Japanese. <laughs> If I can speak English, uh, the other country's friend um, use in, in talk use in English. Yes, I want to speak English. Friends, that's great. All right, so we're going to work with a very basic conversation question. And the conversation question is going to be, what sports do you do? Sports? Yeah. What uh, kind of sports or exercise? Now remember, a natural way of speaking is you can talk about the past. Oh, when I was a child, I da 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 da. Now I, I want to. So our First question for this first program is going to be, what sports do you play? And we're going to measure it, he told me. So we're going to go 30 seconds, no preparation, just speaking for 30 seconds. What sports do you play? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So he told me, what sports do you play? I I played 
basketball and ski, snowboard, swimming, and um, to, for my children, for few, few years ago. But now I played working and climb up the stairs at, <laughs> <laughs> at station. Uh, Good. That's 30 seconds. Excellent. That's very funny. I do the same thing, climbing up the stairs at the station. Mm -hmm. But I get so angry when people are on their smartphones walking slowly <laughs> up the stairs. It drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is great. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to share the whiteboard with you. <clears throat> And you can see, you can make a very simple, simple graph. And that's my answer plus plus. And this is number one. This is number two. And this is number three. And the question is, we're working with the question, what sports do you play? And... So what I want you to do, he told me, is on your piece of paper or in your notebook, answer the question, what sports do you play? Let's see. This is not like this. Okay. So our, our topic today is sports. So I'll set the timer. Just take about... Well, answer the first one. So he told me, what sports do you play? What would be your first answer? I, I played. I played. I played ski. Oh, good. Do you ski now? No. Okay, so let's use this. I used to, so put this in your first box, he told me, mm. on your piece of paper. I used to ski. Mm. Okay, did you write that down? Okay. Okay, now put two more pieces of information about skiing. Uh, I went to go ski with my family. Okay. And family. I go to ski by car. Car. Okay, super. Now, Hitomi has a choice. She can either keep talking about, she can talk about family or car or skiing, or she can talk about another sport. Uh, snowboard. Snowboard. And then you need two more pieces of information. Um, I went to go snowboard with my friends. Friends, okay. Mm -hmm. Where did you go snowboarding? Uh, by car or you train. Car. car or train and where? Which mountain? Uh, Niigata. Niigata, okay. <laughs> That's an N. <laughs> Niigata. I think Niigata has two eyes. There we go. Okay, and maybe something else, number three. Mm. 
Yeah. Um, maybe exercise now by the train, by train stairs. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm working now. I'm working. Okay. Now work. All right. And then two more pieces of information. And climbing up the stairs and down the stairs. <laughs> up the station. <laughs> yes. And then one more. Uh, a stair, a station, station. At the station, you climb the mm. stairs. So, do you feel healthy? Yeah. Yes. There we go. Feel healthy. <laughs> That's great. Okay, I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Um, Okay, super. All right, excellent. So this is, this is step one in my three-step system. It's just preparing for your speaking. Now remember, this is training for your speaking. So in a conversation, you're going to be talking, but your studying should include training for yourself. So this is step one. It's a very simple graph. Now I'm going to undo this. I think, oops, erase, eraser, select. Okay, mm -hmm. clear, clear all drawing. Yay, all right, now what we're doing is, uh, oh, oh, I can type this, wow, okay. Now what we're doing is step two. This step two is the mind map. So, draw. select, yeah. draw, hmm. spell it, yeah. <laughs> okay, just a minute, I don't know how, to, what do a. I draw, um, mind map, yes, you're doing your mind map, and in the middle is sports, hmm, and see how I can do this. All right, we'll draw a circle. Right. And then we've got the text. We've got sports. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have three more circles. One, two, three. Oops. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we can't move this. This is my first time using this stuff. Mm -hmm. So here, we'll go back to what you created. should come up. And you'll have skiing, snowboarding, and stairs. Snowboard. Stairs, good. So with your skiing, you'll have another circle. Oh. Here and here. Oh. And then you'll have another circle here and here oh. and here and here. 
Okay. Great. So we've got snow snowboard. And whoops. So you've got ski, family, car. Snowboard, <clears throat> friend, Niigata. Now work, stairs, and feeling healthy. Friend, Niigata. Gata. Work, working, stairs. Work, work, stairs, healthy. Feel healthy. Yeah. Oops. So this is in real time. So what you're seeing is Hitomi and I working together in real time as I challenge this, <laughs> this thing. <laughs> All right. All right. So while he told me, he told me now has three, six, nine, ten bubbles. So he told me what I want you to do is I want you to add five more bubbles anywhere with ideas that pop into your head about about snowboarding, work, and the stairs and skiing. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make your mind map bigger. Okay. So do that. And while you're doing that, I'm going to fill in the basic mind map so everyone can see that. When you're finished, tell me. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, great. At work stuck here. All right, I will stop screen sharing. Um, stop share. So again, this is the YouTube channel for learning how to do English and how to speak with your conversation. So he told me you keep writing. I'm talking to the people who are watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much fun. This is too much fun. All right. Um, oh, yeah, you take your time. So every week, almost every week, Hitomi, San, and I are going to be on YouTube going through a question with my three-step system, and you are going to watch Hitomi's English go up, 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 up. <laughs> I am so pleased to be working with Hitomi-san on this. Hitomi, thank you, thank you, thank you again. Uh, thank you, Kitty. Yeah. This is our first attempt. This is our first try. So, yeah, thank you, everyone, for watching and bearing with us. So, Hitomi, keep doing your mind map. Is your mind map finished? No. At how many bubbles? Five more. Five more. Yes. Five more bubbles. Trouble, trouble, bubbles. Great. And then I will share my screen. And, oh, are you finished? Yes. Oh, good. Okay. So show your mind map to the camera. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. That's perfect. So you can see she's got her mind map there. Okay, he told me I want you to add four more bubbles. Four more bubbles? Yes. No, five more. Five more bubbles. Five more bubbles. <clears throat> the reason that we work with a mind map is because our brains mm. linear when you're going in order, one, two, three, four, five. Our brains struggle, struggle, struggle to remember. Memorizing is extremely difficult and takes a lot of energy for the brain. 
mind maps are a natural flowing route. And you'll see most of nature spreads out and flows. Nature isn't hard, hard lines. That's human, human nature trying to control. So what I'm doing is taking you out of the classroom, out of the learning that you did when you were in high school or junior high school. And I'm changing the way you think about language. When you're speaking your language, Japanese or French or German, ideas are popping into your head and then they're branching off into different thoughts. And when you're learning a language, we tend to worry and be scared about our grammar, our vocabulary. I am not grammar Katie, I am conversation Katie. So my coaching is for you to be more confident in what's already inside you. You have a lot of English inside of you and that's what I'm bringing or pulling out of you. So Hitomi, are you done? Um, one, two, three. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, show your mind map again. Okay, excellent. That's great. That's beautiful. I love it. Now, I want you to put a one, two, and a three. Either which one is number one, which section is number one, which section is number two, and which section is number three. Is working number one, skiing number two, and snowboarding number three. Put a one, two, or three next to those bubbles. What to three? Right, so let's do skiing is number one. That section is number one. Put a number one next to skiing. Skiing number one. Yes. Then snowboard number two. There you go. Yes. Where is number three? Work. Work. Uh, number one, two, three. Yes, that's right. So number one is her starting port for this point for the sections. She'll go from number one to number two to number three. We're going to do it three times. And it's like a game. So She's going to keep her eyes and her fingers on her mind map and she is going to whatever bubble she's talking about she's going to touch that bubble and look at it with her eyes so she'll start with I used to go skiing I went skiing by car and she's going to move from each section to each section by looking and focusing and talking about that bubble. Is that okay, Hitomi? Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we did it at the cafe. Yeah. It's the same thing. Hitomi and I met once before, and we met at the uh, cafe in uh, March. Yeah, this month we met. And so, I think it was about two weeks ago, maybe. So she's only done this once. This is just her second time. Yay! Good job. <laughs> and I've got the timer set for 30 seconds, which is a short amount of time. And she has 19 or 20 bubbles to speak about. So you'll start with all the bubbles in number one, then go to all the bubbles in number two, and then go to all the bubbles in number three. Okay. Okay. All right, so let me, I'll start by asking you the question. He told me, what sports do you play? I used to ski with my family. We went to go Dao by car. Dao, Dao uh, by car for seven hours. My father teach ski. Um, 
my good that's 30 seconds start at number one again start at skiing the reason she goes back to number one is because you're working on repeat 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 it gets easier are you ready yeah <laughs> okay, number one skiing good perfect you tell me what sports do you play i used to ski with my family we went to go the world by car for seven hours. Uh, uh, cars stopped because gas Okay, I'm going to stop you there. This is really important. We're going to do this again. Mm -hmm. so. Hitomi needs to keep her eyes on her mind map. She can't be looking up here. That's her logical mind going in. Do not look here. Do not look here. Do not look here. Do not keep your eyes and your focus on the words only in your mind map and making mm -hmm. sentences about what's on your mind map. Everything else, forget. Mm. So let's try this one again. This will be number two. Hitomi, what sports do you play? I used to ski. No, number two. Snow. Uh, okay, so stop it. This is great. He told me it's just learning my system. And when you're just learning a system, it can be confusing because we want to do a good job. She will always start with number one and she'll go to number two and number three, always back to number one. Because, like Ichiro, a famous baseball player in Japan, he always goes back to number one and follows through. Back, when he's practicing batting, it's repeat, repeat, repeat. So it becomes easier and easier. So you'll always go back to number one and move forward. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna clear this and let's start again. He told me, what sports do you play? I use the ski with my family. Go by car for seven hours. We went to go Zao. Zao have snow monster. Car was stopped because gas empty. Ski teased my father. I used to snowboard. We snowboard teased my friend. Good, 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 good. Back to number one, back to number one. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay. He told me, what sports do you play? I used to ski with my family. We went to go Zao by car for seven hours. Ski teased my father. Zao has snow monsters. Car was stopped because gas empty. We used to snowboard with my friends, go Niigata by car. We went to go Niigata everywhere. Very nice. Can you see? She's able to go faster, faster, faster through number one. Faster through number one, then a little faster through number two. Back to number one, faster, and then faster through number three. Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay. Tell me, what sports do you play? I used to ski with my family. We went to go Zao by car for seven hours. Zao has no monsters. Car was stopped because gas empty. Ski teached my father. We I used to snowboard with my friends for Nika for every week. Snowboard teached my friend. We went to go. Very nice. Okay, now what I want you to do is sit on your mind map. Take okay. your mind map and sit on it. There, that's your mind map. And now take it and sit on your mind map. <laughs> There's no looking at the mind map. <laughs> Okay, Katie, he told me, what sports do you play? 
I used to ski with my family. We went to Gozao by car for several hours. Snow monsters had Dao, Dao. A car was stopped because gas empty. And we, we used, I used to snowboard with my friends. Great. Now we're going to do another challenge. And this challenge is I'm going to add 15 seconds to the stopwatch. So she's going to have, Hitomi, you're going to have 45 seconds for speaking. And allow, forget the mind map, forget the sentences you wrote, just whatever pops into your head, let that speak. So don't worry about the mind map. Don't worry about, just think about sports and picture Picture in your mind what you're talking about, and that will make it easier for you to speak too. So you've got 45 seconds. Are you ready? Okay. So you tell me, what sports do you play? I used to ski with my family. We went to go Zao by car for several hours. Zao is no monsters. Cover stopped because gas empty. <laughs> my ski, my father teased me. I used to snowboard with ten f friends. My friends teased me snowboard. We went to go Niigata by car or train. Wow, that is awesome. Mm. That's really well done. Yeah. <laughs> so remember at the beginning when I asked Hitomi-san, mm. what sports do you play? It went a little slow and she mm. wasn't mm. quite sure what to say or how to say it. So we did step one, mm. which was making the graph. We did step two, which was the mind map, and step three, which is the timed speaking. Mm. Now. Hitomi can practice this on her own. It's an easy system. And so you can do this on your own also. I also coach privately or I have online classes. And so you can study with me if you want to. Hitomi and I are going to be on YouTube weekly doing, <laughs> doing our lessons. So you have a good chance to see how the system works live. So Hitomi, what are you going to have for lunch? Uh, <laughs> you can say, I don't know. That's okay. I don't know. I don't know. Plus, plus. I don't know because I don't hungry. Um, and I, I have a lot of job oh. after your meeting. Wow. Well, he told me, thank you so much for your time. And he told me, say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is a work in progress. As you can see, my lighting needs some help. Um, my Zoom needs some help too, but hey, it's the beginning. And so Hitomi and I are going to be learning together how to bring Answer Plus Plus to you. Hitomi-san, thank you so much. Thank you. And you eat. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hitomi, that was great. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye. Bye.